these game changers. Allow me to introduce Max Jones to you. The man now is definitely a little bit older than 12 years. I'm saying the man, because I've seen many grown-up men who were children inside. He is a child outside, but a man inside. He has actually changed the news business. At 12 years old, he looked at the news and he said, look, there's nothing in it for my age group. And the difference is, instead of just complaining and dreaming, he actually sat down, very Gen Y, put it out to the world, I want to create a website for kids my age, a news website. Now it's got over 100 free collaborators, and they have got the largest teenage news website in the world. At 12 years, of course he was offered a buyout. BBC, CNN, all these companies said, hey, you know, the usual, let me buy this. Did he sell? No. Why should he? If you can build a global news organization from your bedroom, still go to school at 12 years old, it's fun. It's not about the money. The first big hint, it's not about the money alone anymore. The Gen Ys that you truly want to attract, it's not about the money. It will never be about the money anymore. It is about changing the game. Money will come regardless. Money always will come if you're good at what you do. So you need to find the people who have a vision, a will, and the action. The interesting thing is they might not want to work for you. Here. This woman, Lauren Luke, classical example, pregnant at 16, or mother at 16, fairly uneducated, school dropout, and jobless. So right now, if I come to you and I say, hey, I just met this woman, she was a mother at 16, really, you know, a dropout, a societal dropout, it doesn't sound like a secret for success. But in the new time count, what she did is, at the age of 27, she sat at home being an ugly duckling, but her hobby is actually makeup. So guess what? She went on YouTube, and for the joy of sharing, I'll repeat again, for the joy of sharing, not for the money, she says, look, put on makeup. And she taught the stuff, and people did something very interesting. They said, hey, she looks just like me. She's not a highly paid model. She's a human being like me. Her followership grew. These, she has had half a billion hits and this is all about this slide is already outdated because every day she gets more hits right at the moment what is happening is that the market asked her give us your product we want to buy from you so this is how the time has shifted we have complete freedom of choice when you go back to your office from now on and you look at people and you need to move faster a more vibrant open transparent culture and people say Okay, not la, you know, the culture. And how to change ma. You say, hello, do you live in North Korea? You go, what do you mean? Well, you live in Manila, Singapore, but, you know, any other city but North Korea. And so they say, what do you mean by that? It's very simple. Most of us, or all of us, come from free economies. You have the freedom to choose to work on a team. You have the freedom to leave from a team. And so most companies make the mistake of actually not declaring a big, interesting, huge, innovative target, have the guts to do that, electrify the people, not electrocute, okay, electrify. The people to say, woo, that's interesting, phase the people head on that say, but, 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 the old cannot love. And you say, can. You need to shift the people and tell them, if you don't like the new goal, you can leave the company, it's a free world. And tell them examples. One of the great things that I have asked many people, I said, what is one of your big dreams? And many people said, I want to travel the world. You know the one day dream? One day I will travel the world. And I say, why don't you do it right now? Guess what they say? No money. I said, so? That's not a reason. No, yeah, 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 yeah. Money, you know, no money, no travel. Totally wrong. This man, did the following thing. He says, I want to travel the world for free. Now the next part, instead of being ashamed of not having any money, this is Gen Y, new time count, new reality, he created a Twitter website called Twitch Hiker. And he just said, I want to travel for free. I mean, how simple is that? And he did it. People sponsored him all over. By now, he made a business out of it. So he's got a book, his own website, his everything. Interesting so far? When you go back to the company, 
I don't know, the next time you're back, whenever that will be, look around yourselves and have a clear look at your team and see how many people are willingly, openly, lovingly, excitedly contributing and how many people just drag their physical existence into your office to get paid. That is close to um, mercenary behavior or there's some people who sell their bodies for money and call it love. That is not the future anymore. Their time has come and gone. So the question, the real question is this. We are now facing a revolution of the truly willing. If you're interested, you can get free information. Free. You can educate yourself. You can educate, market yourself, show yourself to the world, invite people to participate with you, and eventually win big time. Have you ever seen Junior MasterChef? Anybody in the room? Have you seen that? Isn't that a staggering show? The first time I saw it, I was in a hotel flicking through, and I go, Junior Master Chef. In my head, Junior and Master is a 19-year-old, right? Because you have to master something. Out comes a 12-year-old kid. I'm like, come on. I mean, I don't want to see the guy do instant noodles. That's kind of lame. And then they started performing, and my jaw dropped. Think about it. Most people believe that if you want to become a chef, you have to go to chef school. Then you have to listen to the master who teaches you something because that's how it works. Wrong. These kids go on YouTube, are willing, interested, and start cooking. By the age these guys are 19 or 20, they don't need a certificate. They will put a plate of food on your table and say, eat that and don't ask me stupid questions. Interesting. Mastery will completely start changing in shape, size, and form from what we know it. It's not going to be paper-based. Paper will be a nice addition. 